So welcome back to this another lesson. And in this lesson, we are going to look at clusters and dynamic cluster. Briefly, in the previous lesson, we looked at servers where we looked at admin server and managed server. So let's look at what does cluster represents. So cluster is nothing but a logical collection or, or collection or group of servers running simultaneously and working together and acting as a single or 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 acting as a one server from a client's point of view i repeat one more time cluster is nothing but a collection of servers running as a single unit from a client point of view and which has more or less similar configuration and similar applications deployed so that if one managed server goes down another managed server in the cluster can transparently fail over or sessions data from one server to another and and for client it, they will never notice what happened or if anything failed so cluster will help in high availability or also in scalability so let's suppose you have a lot of load on a one application you can put that application into cluster with multiple servers all acting as one single unit from a client point of view for scalability or high availability so 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 server is nothing but a collection of servers or cluster is nothing but collection of servers running simultaneously and acting as a single unit from client point of view so you can make changes to a cluster or a member of a cluster by saying change this configuration and say update this configuration on all the cluster members so you can, let's suppose you want to deploy an application on a managed server so rather than deploying on an individual managed servers you say deploy on the cluster and all the members that are part of that cluster will have that application deployed so that's another property of cluster so cluster is nothing but collection of two or more managed servers technically you can have a cluster with one managed server only but you might have more managed servers but having one cluster with one managed server doesn't give you benefit of high availability or scalability but technically you can cl create a cluster with one managed server only so the cluster members which are nothing but a managed servers they can be on a same machine or different machines and there's a cluster communication which could be unicast and multicast we'll see that what is unicast and multicast when we look at a high availability in its dedicated module we'll see this cluster communication we'll see the differences between these two so that's cluster so what you see in the diagram on the right hand side is nothing but you have um, a admin server which is on left hand side and you have four on top and four on bottom so you have cluster one and cluster two so in this domain you have one admin server you have eight managed servers four managed servers in cluster one and four managed servers in cluster two and the members within cluster can uh, can talk to each other using either something called as unicast or multicast the way the data speaker so that's a cluster then in 12c there's a new concept called dynamic cluster and dynamic cluster is nothing but a cluster that contains one or more dynamic servers I repeat it's only in 12c it's not available in 11g integration 12c dynamic cluster is nothing but a cluster that has one or more dynamic servers that bring to the point what is dynamic server we'll cover that in a minute so in a dynamic cluster the servers are scaled up automatically as the application demands so i repeat the servers in a dynamic cluster will automatically scale up or add themselves so that means when you're defining a dynamic cluster you are saying this is my minimum number of servers and it can grow up to 12 15 18 20 managed servers so if your application requires right now two it will be two if your application later has load increases you can those members or the servers in the cluster in a dynamic cluster can automatically increase based on the configuration then you tell so that means it needs a port number it needs some default mechanism to identify what port number to run what jvm size to run what name we should keep all those things we can do so dynamic clusters that's a property of dynamic cluster it uses something called a server template to create the dynamic servers so 
template is nothing but a lay or 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 uh, or a set of configurations that used to create a dynamic server and dynamic servers or dynamic couple of dynamic servers will make a cluster or a dynamic cluster so server template uses uh, defines a configuration that will be used when we create a dynamic server so this is one example of that so you that's a dynamic cluster so right inside you creating a cluster from a biology console and you say a, you whether do you want a static cluster which is first and second option right inside on the circle which is dynamic cluster when you create the dynamics cluster you will get a screen like on one on left hand side that says what is the size of the dynamic cluster size which means two servers right now it can grow up to eight servers or what is the name of the manage server we will say dynamic cluster zero one and then dash and it will say one two three four or name so that's name of the managed servers or dynamic servers in the cluster then dynamic servers are nothing but a servers that gets created by using the server template by dynamic cluster so dynamic cluster will tell based on the load will dictate hey create a more managed more managed servers but out of type dynamic which using a template which will automatically be created and what do you see you can it, the application can create or the domain can create automatically or you as an administrator can go and create these dynamic servers but they'll be using a template or server template so what what you see in the console i've already created a dynamic cluster and that in the dynamic cluster we created a two servers or dynamic servers so cluster when you create a cluster and when you define it, it that time it will create these dynamic servers so what you see type dynamic that means there is a these there are, in this domain there is one admin server and two managed servers and these two more managed servers are dynamic servers created by dynamic cluster and then you have a server template i said earlier just now that for these dynamic servers to be created it needs a template from using which it will create these dynamic servers so templates are nothing but it enables to define a common non-default attribute which means oh what should be the name so in this case if the previous example if we take the known the non-default attribute in this case is prefix server name prefix which is dynamic cluster 01 dash it will dictate that this is how so it enables to define a common non-default attribute which could be 01020304 and so on then server templates are used to create the dynamic clusters the members in the dynamic cluster will be using or dynamic cluster will be using a server template to create a dynamic server and you can create your own templates by using going to the weblogic console and the clusters you can say server template and you can create new template if you don't create any template it will otherwise use the default template in order to create these dynamic servers so that's all about the servers clusters we'll look at the other topics like gdbc and jms gdbc stands for java database connectivity if an application needs to talk to the database it will use jdbc and there are three different type of jdbc generic grid link and multi data source we'll see that and J jms in the next lesson so let me do a quick recap in this lesson we looked at the cluster which is nothing but collection of two or more servers on which you have an application deployed on both the servers and from client point of view they are acting as a single unit cluster members can be a different host or same host and they communicate or members in the cluster communicate to each other using something called as either unicast or multicast what are these we are going to look at in high availability then there's a dynamic cluster which is nothing but cluster that gets created that have members automatically grow or shrink based on the load and those members are called as dynamic servers because they are dynamically created by the dynamic cluster and they use or being created using a server template and you can define your own server template so that's about clusters in this let's head on to the next way we look at gdbc and jms i'll see you in next lesson